Brothers and sisters can all hear Bulls on Wall Street, guys. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. We have earnings season and earnings bonanza and a lot of things happening in the market today that we need to prepare for. First of all, uh, we will talk about the Tesla earnings in just a hot second because that's going to be the big thing. But it, we had a little bit of what would, felt like a blow off today. There was so much hot, hot heat in the market today. It's, it's sometimes even hard to, it's, it's a little bit hard to even fathom sometimes like how things could have got so, so juicy so fast. And then we had some chinks in the armor though. And that's what we've got to be prepared for. Today felt very euphoric, a little bit blow offy, you know, with the gap in Netflix and the subsequent follow through at the open, you know, and you could see this like monster move. Right from 543 to right 560s or whatever, that took up all the tech stocks with it, and you saw these monster opening range breakouts in. You saw these monster opening range breakouts in Nvidia. Look at these thing, right? I mean, this is like this is six hundred dollar trillion dollar stock, right? And it's trading right like a small cap. I mean, that's just monstrous, right? You saw opening range breakout on AMD. That went 12 points. Guys, the eight, you know, these things are going above and beyond their ATRs plus an extra 25, 30, 40%. And it felt very blow off -y for a portion of the day. And so something we'll have to be mindful of this tomorrow, especially with Tesla hitting the shitter um, post earnings. I mean, think about it in this market where everything is going to, you know, break down like this is it's not surprising because the price action has been terrible, but I mean, they must really, you know, <laughs> they must have really pissed somebody off at some point. I'm just teasing, but this could, you know, kind of maybe release some of the uh, pressure in the markets. And so I think, you know, if we get a gap up tomorrow, we're going to want to probably short into the market because we started to see some cracks in the system today. Not huge ones. It doesn't mean the bull market's over, but we are just getting a little bit long in the tooth. That euphoria, that kind of 2020, 2021 feeling was in there for a hot second. Like, you know, and you saw like in the end of the day, these kind of, right, breakdowns in, in some of these names. And I think some of these momentum names, I think this is something we want to be aware of. If you see SMCI, right, you broke over its earnings high. And then, right, you got what, $30 into the close drop, and it still finished green, right? So that's the thing. But this can give us some areas where maybe if we get some small gap ups, we might be able to take a couple of these down, you know, get a small gap up on this. I think we might be able to get some green to reds because there were some cracks in the armor. And of course, the other tell that we need to be aware of is that, you know, the IWM had a nice gap up and it ran right into the old high two tapper, right? You know, a lot of people see these gaps, they want it to break out, but the IWM is still not in breakout territory. And, you know, I was hoping it holds too. It's a lot more fun to trade some of the IWM stocks, right? That's just, you know, I don't want to trade NVIDIA all day, but we do what we have to do. And you can see just the depth of, you know, to be up from 1.2% to, you know, down 1%, 2% turnaround. Uh, and it just ruins a lot of the charts, right? So if you see some of these things, right, look at this UPST, like, this is kind of distribution type of action, short-term distribution action. You know, you gap up right into the old high and then flush off. And then, you know, you did try to squeeze and then you're just getting these bleed offs. And so we saw this, right? A risk off the table, coin gaps up right into the old high and then it bleeds off, right? And that, you know, this chart's already busted, but this is something that we need to be mindful of. You know, DKNG, right, tried to break out today announced a little rumor with Portnoy and then it got fizzled off and so we'll keep an eye on this I think this is something to keep an eye on tomorrow as we saw like this kind of right just this little bit of a fizzle out now we've seen this song and dance before where the market just you know gap ups and goes and catches everybody off guard but I do think the play tomorrow if we can get a, a little bit of gap up or you know if we get the gap down because of Tesla and then we spike up and squeeze we look for a fizzle out and we can use some of these previous days ranges to attempt 
uh, some overextended shorts. Now, that's just on some of these big, big names. There are other charts that are holding up, and so there can be a little bit of rotation, but just remember that there were some chinks in the armor today, right? You know, you had stocks like this net too, right? Tap into resistance, fizzle out, shop. Like, you know, a lot of my stocks I had on the watch list yesterday, you know, they ran, they didn't break out, but they ran right into resistance and then whew, fizzled out. And so we'll see what the heck is going on tomorrow. But I think on the bullish side, of course, you know, this Netflix is still going to be in play for the next, you know, coming month or two or whatever, because it's just clearing such a big base. But I think the play tomorrow, you know, of course, on the other earnings side, we'll see how Tesla reacts. You know, you're coming down in this old low. It'll probably bounce up a little bit at the open from there uh, just because it's like the second test. But then we'll see if it comes back into the bone zone somewhere like that. We'll watch for a fizzle out. And then I really, you know, it might be time just for a quick, just for a quick hitter on this NVIDIA. If you see where the 9 EMA is, it's still $40 away. You know, if we got a gap to like, say, 625, 621, you know, or just an opening spike into that, you know, then we got a chance. The one thing with the NVIDIA is you don't want to step in front of it. Like, see, like when you're trending, I use the EMA shadings. And so when the shading is green, like, right, you just stay away from it. And when it flips, you know, you can start shorting the bounces. That'll keep you out of trouble. So wait for the bone zone to flip from, right, green to red and have a crossover. And when it opens up like that, then you can start shorting into the spikes. And so we'll do something like that tomorrow on uh, NVIDIA if we get it. Same type of deal with, you know, SMCI, right? If we get a quick spike up, we'll watch for a fizzle out later in the day. If it confirms, we don't necessarily know. Now, on the other side, there's some good looking charts out there, you know, that still could possibly hold. You know, I think the Zim has still got a nice flag breakout. We took a, a little bit baby baby play in this earlier today. And I sold it early as always. But uh, I think this one's still got a, a, a still got some heat on it. I think, you know, Intel, like, this has still got a good range break on it. Not too extended. You know, it had pretty good range today. The dips on this, like, when it spikes down at the open, have been getting bought. So that's a, you know, good sign. I think Docu's got a good, good look to it. And then, you know, what we want to do is just keep an eye on some of these other ones, right? You got three red days now on ARM. Usually three red pullback days into support is a good spot for a potential bounce. But we need to watch the sector, right? We need to watch NVIDIA to get a clue and a tell on what's happening. You know, we don't want to step in front of like an Intel or ARM uh, if those are going to roll over. And once again, I don't think this is the end of some kind of trend or something like that. But with that kind of euphoric spikes today and, you know, the TLT is still grinding down. We have a bear flag here. If this TLT flushes off tomorrow, you know, and breaks below this kind of zone of love, then that's going to put some pressure on at least the IWM. It hasn't been doing anything to QQQs, but the IWM has been reacting to this, you know, of recent. And that's something to keep an eye on, right? Small caps, mid caps are way more uh, sensitive to interest rates. So let's be tight tomorrow. We want to stick with just, right, our, our, our really, really good setups here. You know, I still think some of these biotechs are going to go at some point like SRPT. Uh, but... I think we could stick with some of these big boys tomorrow because with Tesla, you know, having earnings out, we're going to get some plays tomorrow. The gap is not too big. It's not going to have an SSR on it. This is going to give us a play at the open. And we'll see if, you know, ideally, man, it's a quick shove at the open and that give us a good shot to fizzle that out. And what we want to see then is the shove on NVIDIA and one on SMCI. And we try to fizzle those bad boys out. And if we need some longs, then we go Netflix, we go Intel, we go Docu, SRPT if it ever fucking goes. And, you know, maybe if Snow, this is retesting back here, if it kind of retests back into the zone of love, that could be good too. It's got its earnings out of the way. So we've got a chance on that. And then, you know, one last one, a little bit more speculative. But, you know, if you get any kind of shove into, I would say maybe 42... 42 to 44, we look at this DWAC and we try to fade this. It was easy to borrow today. Um, you'll be able to find borrows on this. It's got tons of liquidity too. Nice, easy going fizz off. Hopefully we gap this puppy up and we can fade this thing off. Guys, stay light tomorrow. 
And the reason I don't have like such an extensive watch list today as I normally do is we started seeing some of those chinks in the armor and I wanna be, I wanna be very, very careful and selective tomorrow on the best setups because frankly the market could still rip up, but you know, we're due for that pullback. And anytime you get really, really giddy, anytime you see like 50 breakouts on your watch list, it's a good time to remember not to chase entries. Because look what happened today. Any chase into resistance got faded off, right? IWM chase into resistance got faded off. By the way, these chases have been working. You know, chase into resistance, right? Got faded off. Chase into resistance on shop got faded off. And so we want to be mindful of all this that, you know, this is, you know, a slight change in character for a couple days. You know, these normally would have gone. So we've got to be a little bit more relaxed tomorrow and let's think... Let's let these things set up. So in summary, right, NVIDIA, SMCI, some of these bad boys, maybe even Microsoft. Nah, not Microsoft. It sucks to trade. We'll stick with those two. If they shove up and DWAC shove up, we fizzle them off. If they don't and the market just wants to do what it's been doing and we dip at the open, go red to green and just go, then we want to look at some of these ones that are not extended and really roll into those. And then we have, you know, maybe a day two play on Netflix too. All right, guys, stay safe. Tomorrow's not the day that I think push the chips in very aggressive on the long side. There's going to be long plays probably, but we want to be selective. And uh, there's some short setups too. You know, heck, even Coin and Mara look like bear flags too, right? So, heck, yeah, you know, I thought this was due for a bounce, but now it's starting to look like a little bit of a bear flag. So you maybe got more room to come down on this bad boy. Guys, stay safe, take care. Adios, muchachos.